Lou Saloon, established in 1952, is one of the oldest saloons here in the Corpus Christi area. Over 70 years young, and this business has been thriving for decades, serving food and drinks to everybody who comes through the doors. Now there's been reports of some paranormal activity from things moving and shadows, and there's actually a family cemetery right here on this property. Could it be the Gray family? that's still here watching over the property? Well, tonight we're gonna get locked in here and find out what's going on and see what answers we can find and evidence right here on South Texas Haunts. Whoa! What was that? Hello? Can you say that again? Are you showing me how you died? Oh, sh what the hell? No, 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 you don't touch me. No, 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 no. Thank you so much for allowing us to come in and investigate this wonderful and historical saloon here. Uh I'm at Sue Gray. My father was Lou. We've owned this place since October of 1952. And when my father passed away, then it's mine now. Okay. And uh, what actually is going on here in, in the saloon? What, what type of paranormal activity uh, has people been experiencing? And we've had several different incidents. My father passed away in 2002, and he actually passed away in the parking lot in his parking place. He oh, wow. took the keys out and then just passed away in his car. Since then, there's been a lot of incidents when he's come and, come and gone and, and um, you constantly hear him, he shuffles a lot. Uh, you'll see his shadows at the end of the bar, uh, either upstairs or downstairs, it doesn't matter. And I spent the night down here at, um, when Hurricane Harvey was here and he didn't leave my side. I, I felt his presence almost the whole night that I was here. You've had a a lot of experience since since being here. Uh, could you tell us a little bit more about some of those experiences? Well, my first experience, Miss Sue, my boss, told me never come up here late or early in the morning because she says it's too dangerous and too scary. I said to myself, I know what dangerous is, but what she mean by scary? Then one Sunday I was outside working under the stairs and all of a sudden, I just seen somebody walking up the stairs from the knees down. I said, okay. I went around, looked up, nothing. Wow. Nobody. Can you please tell us your name? I, I 
thought I heard my name Lucy, but that was a different voice, like over here. Or Icy or something. There's a box over here on this side also. Can you get near it? Let's make a noise for us. Okay. Oh, wow. Is that you or did That's me. Okay. Make a noise. Get close to it and the little pretty lights will shine. There might be one over here too, right? There is. Either one. Just get near it and, and it'll sound up for us. That was not me. What? That was not you. That was not you. That was not me. Not you. That was behind me. Where was it? That was Somewhere behind. around here. I think it was these boxes. That's where I kept the hearing equipment. the equipment. The noises. Okay. Maybe he thinks the boxes are over here. Or she. I thought it was I heard a woman and a man. Can you make that noise for us again? Are you? Are you serious? Which one was that? I think it was that one over there. Over there, on the other side? Oh, thank you so much for doing that. We appreciate that. Okay. Can you please tell us your name one more time. I'm going to order a drink. <laughs> Did it just say the key left? <laughs> so it said I just heard the key. I heard the key. session by myself. Hello? Oh, did you hear that song just said hello? Hello. Uh, he was walking in. I got a hello. I asked for a hello and I got a hello. Good job. Alright. What is your name? Clear. Oh, that was good. Can you tell us where you are? Here. Where is here? I'm going to order a drink. <laughs> Did it just say the key left? <laughs> so it said I just key. heard the key. I heard the key part. Uh, it said I heard the tequila. I heard key. I just assumed it was tequila. I heard the key. Is there anybody here that would like to make their presence known? Tap on something, move something. I thought I heard help. Which is weird. Who needs help? What is your name? people to come in and investigate did you die on this property do you even know that you're dead okay. so 
right now it's circling through the FM stations. I never officially got to say goodbye because I was out of town. Sure would like to be able to hear your voice again and to say goodbye and I love you. Oh, hell. I heard that. What did you say? I said I love you too. I said I love yeah, you too. That's yeah. what I heard it. I didn't like hear it. Oh, no. Yeah, we, we probably we probably caught that on. You. Uh, yeah, I know you caught it, but it was very I pause love, and the, the you is just, but I hear I, I love. Yeah, oh. I mean it sounded mm. like that to me, but I thought I was just imagining. No, yeah. Mr. Lou, if this is you who said what we think you just said, with all of your might and anything you have left in energy wise, can you please say it again? take a lot of energy and you don't know how much this means to me considering I didn't get to see you before uh, you, before you bumps. Yeah. Me too. oh my god oh my goodness I am so glad you came back and told me that I will always rest a lot better now than I know Well, first off, I want to thank you so much for allowing us to come in and investigate this place. It really surprised me some of the experiences and some of the evidence that we got. Uh, especially one, of course, involving you up here when we were doing a ghost box session, which we'll get here to in just a second. So now I'm going to pass it off to Shauna here, and she's going to go through some of the EVPs that we captured. And just so you kind of get a general idea, EVP stands for Electronic Voice Phenomenon. It's uh, spirit voices that come under a certain megahertz range that our human ear cannot hear. But we use special devices like audio recorders, and sometimes we can't pick it up on video. And this place, we got quite a few EVPs from here, and even some that stand out more than others. Um, so this one here, Monty and Hayden are the only ones in this room, and they're talking about sending Hayden downstairs and um, a couple of other little things. And we never heard the voice, but there's a there's a third voice while we're sitting there having conversation. <laughs> Don't have any. Like I said, we didn't hear it. I don't know why somebody would be telling him to chase the person, or it could have been they're trying to say a name. Um, but I, I heard chase him is what I hear out of that. Um, this one here is I think we're ask you're asking actually asking a question, um, and this is the response that we got from that question. Is Katie back there with you? You'd asked, I believe, if, if Mickey was Vicky. up there. Vicky, sorry. It was up there, and you got a yep at the very end. It was so very. The yep is going to be right yeah. here. Is it Vicky or Mickey? Mickey. That's the name. And you can hear it's it's a male voice saying yep. Yep. And this is another one we captured up here. So right in here, you're going to hear them say that. What do you want? And especially with up here, a lot of times when we heard stuff coming across the ghost box and we say, I think I heard this, majority of the time we actually did, we're hearing it with our own ears. So we were able to really have that confirmation of what we were hearing. Um, this one, they were up here investigating, I believe it was Gilbert, um, Margaret, Tolly, and they were filming up here and you're going to hear their, the noise and their reactions. <laughs> It sounds like a rustling sound. 
Yeah, and I think um, listening further, they thought it maybe somebody was messing with the cases that we had up here with the video equipment in it. Um, but it is very much like a rustling sound or somebody moving things around. And of course, as we noticed, nothing had been moved. And so who knows on that? The last one here is you saying goodbye. And it's right here at the end. It's super light, but you can hear it say love you. And it's a female voice. It's a very soft spoken. As far as the visual goes, there wasn't anything that kind of stood out that, uh, you know, a ghost moving something or objects moving or shadows or anything like that. Uh, but we did get more voices or, you know, strange responses. Now this one's up here and it's kind of in the same area we're at right now. It's, you know, it's in, in this vicinity and you'll actually hear a child's voice. Be a ch and how would there be a child in here? And it's just a child that's talking. You just can't really understand what they're saying. I can't. I, I've tried to amplify it. I, I've gone to the point where it's unaudible, but you can hear a child that's talking. Clear as day. Yes. And we're far away from the windows, there, especially as late as we were. There's not going to be any children here, of course, during business hours or outside. So, yeah, like I said, there's I, I can't explain why there would be a child voice. <laughs> All right. Um, we also, on this one... Uh, we actually got a couple of religious EVPs, which is also rare. We don't get many of those from time to time. This one, actually, you can hear someone saying, God bless. I heard yeah. it. God bless me. I heard that. Yes. Clear as day. Hayden and I were up here and we had decided we were going to do a ghost box session, just him and me, and we were asking just simple questions about, you know, what year it is, stuff like that. And uh, you actually, we actually got a response through the ghost box telling us, you know, what we need to drink. So, I'm going to come over here around the bar. If I'm going to order a drink, did it just say the key? So it said I just heard the key. I heard the key quiet. It said I heard the key. Up. I heard key. I just assumed it was key. It says the key. Did it just say the key? Up. So it said I just heard the key. I, heard the I was key very. Quiet. I was very surprised to get that intelligent response. And of course, this was before. We had you come upstairs, then all of a sudden we started getting those other responses. And of course, here's the video where, uh, I don't know if you know, but I, on this video we, I have clipped it both for the first time it says I love you, and of course it'll go into the second time that it said I love you. Dad, I never officially got to say goodbye, because I was out of town. Sure would like to be able to hear your voice again and to say goodbye and I love you. Oh hell. I heard that. You know, you know, too. I said I love you too. So I love you too. Yeah, that's I heard it. Yeah. 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 Oh, 
that's why I say it's something that's very intelligent because we asked it to say it again. And then, of course, on audio, we got I love you a couple more times. So there's definitely something going on here. There's definitely something trying to make communication. Uh, there's definitely some spirits here other than the kind you drink. So, <laughs> but uh, I, I've got to ask. I mean, what do you what do you think of some of the evidence we captured that night? I I am so I I, I always knew my dad was still here and still with us because different things happen all the time, and I was very glad that I got to actually telling my love him and that I could say goodbye and I was very happy that he heard me and said it back. I definitely feel that he did. He did hear you that night. And uh, I hope that this could bring some closure and answer some of the questions and this place is definitely something's going on. Well we just wrapped up the investigation here at Lou's Saloon and I have to say it was definitely an emotional one and the evidence is so compelling and I hope we were able to provide some answers for the owners. And uh, there's definitely something else going on here besides the spirits they serve. So make sure to check us out on all our social media outlets and our website at SouthTexasHaunts.com. Until next time, we are South Texas Haunts.